<laughs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy on your ass. Ooh. Anyways, let's think of something uh, else because I don't want to get shut down before I even get started. <laughs> mm, Dick will make you do some crazy things. So I take my heart under lock and key and take some time to take care of me. But I turn around and you're standing here. How did you get in? Nobody's supposed to be here. I was about to retire all oh, soon. But my heart says, let me quit, 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 quit. Oh, Lord, this has got to be, you know what? I don't want to go in too crazy with this because after you've been on the planet as long as I have now, I sound like one of them straight up people, older people now, don't I? Listen, this happened to a girl that I used to go, uh, that, that belonged to uh, my grandfather's church. Okay. Actually, she married a guy that was. Uh, she married a guy that was married to a good friend of mine that I grew up with until she died trying to give herself an abortion. You know what's interesting? That this. I'm gonna hit all circles with this, with this story. The girl from church got pregnant by this guy here and be and rather than uh have the baby and I guess go through what she was getting ready to go through before Roe versus Wade she tried to give herself an abortion with a hanger and killed herself. Um she was a the cousin of a very, very good friend of mine. Um and um and so it was a very, very and I grew up with her. So it was real personal. It was real sad. So after he mourned her, he was so in love with her. But within about a year, it seemed that he married a corrections officer. And which reminds me of this story we're going to get into right now. Okay? Because the difference in how they both are being treated already is amazing. The black woman, they was like, ooh, you black bitch. You don't help this dude escape from jail, you black son of a. <laughs> and now, oh my God, the guy is on the run. Well, they got caught, and she's spending at least 37 something years in prison. She should be ready to get out now if she's not out already. Okay? Lost everything, lost her pension, lost everything. Okay, now, which brings me to this woman right here, this dumb bunny babe who are they, the media is already setting it up. Oh, she's so brainwashed. Now, she was the head of her department, a high ranking official. She outranked anybody. That's why she was able to do what she did, like um, talk about I'm going to take him to the uh, appointment, just him and her, nobody else. Because, hell, wasn't nobody else to even question it but her. She was, I mean, she was the highest ranking official. So let's listen to how the white people want to spin this story, though. She's brainwashed. The bitch was digmatized, okay? As some more say, she was digmatized, and he was banging her ass in the damn prison system why she was supposed to be an overseer. They was uh, taking time out for conjugal visits. And her ass got blew out. So what happened? Press. And she decided that she was going to throw it all away. For this murderous, thieving, 
crazy lunatic. And so when you catch their asses, if you catch their asses, because if I was them, by now I'd be out the country. Because they had a big ass head start. Okay? If you catch them both, you ought to treat them one and the same. I don't give a damn what kind of ranking she had before. Because see, white people have a good way of doing stuff like that. Oh, this is what her job is. I don't give a damn. You are not your job. You was a crook just like him. You helped him escape. Okay, so now investigators have now, they on the late show, concluded that corrections officer Vicki White had a special relationship with the inmate she's accused of helping escape. Because at first they was trying to say that the dude probably kidnapped her. An Alabama corrections official who vanished with an inmate facing capital murder charges may have been brainwashed into helping him escape, her mother-in-law said. Real, oh, don't tell me the lady was married. Oh, Lord Jesus. The pair could be anywhere by now, Francis White told the Daily Beast, explaining that Fort Lauderdale County Director uh, of Corrections Vicki Sue White, 56, was frugal and had amassed enough money to keep her afloat for a long time. See, they got it like that. And we still sit up here trying to beg for some reparation. We still trying to beg for what they owe us. But she got enough money to go afloat that she can go and break people out and take murderers so they don't have to face justice. She said that she'd like to live in Florida. That's the only thing I can think of, Frances White, 88, bless her heart, said in a phone interview Tuesday morning. Honey, I, you think they're going to Florida? As a search for Vicki White and 38-year-old Casey Cole White, no relation, stretches into his fifth day, her late husband's family doesn't know what to think. Frances White said her son... Thomas White died in January from complications related to Parkinson's disease. And I'm just proud that he wasn't still alive because he still thought she was a good person. He said, I can't imagine her running off with that guy. But you never know. He walked into a woman's house and just stabbed her. Stabbed the living bejesus out the woman. Stabbed her ass. And your dumb bitch ass done ran away with him? Uh, your ass, listen, they they probably ain't going to find you. They not going to find you. They not going to find you. He going to stick you or cock you with the Glock. Because why would he keep your ass around now? How desperate. See, that's what happens when you get old and you ain't got nobody. And you just going to work every day and you got plenty of money and you don't know what to do with it. You do dumb shit. Some women. Casey White was awaiting trial at the Lauderdale County Jail after confessing to stabbing 15-year-old Connie Ridgeway to death in 2015. The six foot nine white who pleaded not guilty to Ridgeway had already been sentenced to uh, 2019 to 75 years for a crime spree in Limestone County that same year for attempting to gun down his ex-girlfriend, stealing an SUV, shooting and killing a dog, and taking three hostages. And bitch, you ran away with him? It's a sucker born every minute. I, I mean, I. And the worst part about it, he his ass is big like Carmella Anthony, and you think people not gonna notice his big long ass? Already, oh, you play basketball? Huh. Hell no, you a killer. He stated that he wanted to kill the woman and have the police kill him. 
said in a police report in that case. His only regret was that neither was successful. He stated that if he's going, if he was released, he would kill the victim. But she didn't ran away with him. Vicky White, who had an unblemished, unblemished record, according to the Lauderdale County Sheriff Rick Singleton. Yeah, all of y'all got unblemished records as far as y'all concerned. It's only the black people that got uh, black spots and blotches on their names that y'all pretty much put on there or drive them mad enough to put it on they self. Uh, she was last seen leaving the county jail with the long, John tall to take him to court for a mental health evaluation, which her ass should have went for. She should have really turned around and ran to the mental house for an evaluation. We'd accepted her. We'd have got her to help. Casey White was handcuffed and shackled in the back of her patrol car. But Vicki White also committed a serious breach of protocol by transporting Casey White solo, contravening a policy put in place to have two sworn deputies with him during any movement following the discovery of a 2020 of an escape plan that he already had been concocted. Only white people can get away with this kind of shit. And I hate to keep saying it, but I, that, you know, ugh. Y'all, y'all disgust me sometimes. Vicki White says she was headed to a doctor's appointment after dropping Casey White off. However, Singleton said Casey White did not have an evaluation scheduled for that day and that Vicki White never showed up at the medical facility. Her patrol car was later found abandoned in a parking lot of a nearby shopping center. After first saying that investigators were looking into whether Vicki White willingly helped Casey escape or if she had been threatened or coerced into it, Singleton said Monday that the indications are she was in on it. Now, you know damn well. If she had already broke, po see, let's go back. Why y'all so dumb when it comes to y'all? Y'all so smart when it comes to and don't give us the benefit of the doubt. You know, there, I got some white people that I really love individually, but collectively, I can't stand y'all asses. Collectively, is this kind of bullshit right here? Because mm -mm. you know damn well you trying to sit up here trying to paint this the, the, the narrative, just like you did Jeffrey Dahmer, trying to make people feel sorry for him. The fuck? The, the minute y'all know she left with him by herself, you should know she was in on it. If it was a black person, you would have knew she was in on it. As soon as they both was missing. Soon as. That's why the black woman I'm talking about, that's why they got caught so quick. A press release issued Tuesday by Fort Lauderdale County, I'm sorry, by the Lauderdale County Sheriff's Department said there had been a special relationship between Director White and inmate Casey White, that the relationship has now been confirmed through our investigation. Y'all some dum-dums, keystone-ass cops, flat-foot fucks. On Tuesday, I'm sorry, y'all, excuse my language, I'm just... <coughs> On Tuesday, Frances White said she was still racking her brain. Me too. To see why they so stupid. The way they gave him a head start. Did y'all want him to escape? <coughs> Everybody's trying to figure out what made her do it. Somebody said she was just having a bad day. Well, that's not an excuse. You don't have, you don't get to have that kind of a bad day. Well, she get up going to work. I had a bad day. I'm, is that what she's doing? That what y'all? That's what we doing now. Two, the two has six hours to get away, so they're not around here. I don't have any idea where she is, noting her former daughter-in-law had spoken about eventually retiring to Florida, but you know damn well she ain't going there. 
Vicki White had just submitted her retirement papers the day before she disappeared. Now, I mean, it was worth you losing every goddamn thing because you the lost. Because he either he going to kill you. And if y'all ain't out the country, when they catch you, you still done. You can do your time with him. And they still going to keep y'all separate. How dumb you are. Her mom told local news outlet that nothing seemed out of the ordinary on the last morning together. About five weeks ago, she told the home, uh, she sold the home that she had shared with her late husband and moved in with her mother. News reports describe Vicky as, a, as flush with cash from the house sale. But Francis White said she spent years socking away cash and would have plenty of it on hand. See, you remember when we sell our home, we can't get the value because when they realize a black person lived in it, value goes down at all this craziness. So she had a wad of cash on her, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My mind just goes crazy when I look at this law enforcement officer that decided to throw her whole career away. She went to all that trouble. She had money even before she sold her home. She saved her money. I figure if she still got her money, she's got enough to live on it for a long time. Casey White faces a death penalty if convicted of Ridgeway's murder. He doesn't have anything to lose. She's got everything to lose. She lost it. I don't think that man's got any feelings for anybody. In the aftermath of Friday's escape, Ridgeway's son, Austin Williams, called Casey White a monster. Vicky White was armed at the time, and Singleton said Casey White should now be considered armed and dangerous. An arrest warrant for Vicky, a copy of which was obtained by the Daily Beast, has issued on charges of permitting or aiding an escape in the first degree. She is wanted on one count of second degree escape and a $10,000 reward has been offered for any information leading to their capture. That's all. This case brings to mind another famous jailbreak carried out assistance of a female prison employee, Joyce Mitchell, a prison seamstress, spent more than four years behind bars for helping two inmates break out of the maximum security Clinton correction facility in, De in Demora, New York, in 2015. Mitchell, who had been having an affair with one of the men, was released in 2020. Francis's white two uh, surviving sons are just in as much shock as she is. They can't believe it either. My oldest son, no way he could picture her leaving with him. It looks like she helped him escape. She did. She did. Face it. Everybody in the family is hoping someone will come forward with a lead, he said. You know, there's a $10,000 reward out and somebody will tell something. I thought that if she had talked to anybody, maybe they would come forward to get the money. Maybe he's got her brainwashed. But I don't know how he'd have a chance to get her brainwashed because he was in prison. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, that article came out of the Daily Beast written by some dude, Justin Rolich. This woman threw her career away for a killer. You make every woman look bad that you let somebody uh, get you that out of control that you would help their ass and throw away everything. Everything. Of that. All right, y'all. I'm going to take this call. And so if you like what you hear, please subscribe and share. Hello? Hello? Hi, this is yes. Hello? yes. Hi, 